Hi everyone, today's headlines. NSCN IM and NSCN KYA carrier surrender in Arunachal Pradesh. Chief Minister Nifirio takes charge as Chairman of Northeastern Regional Power Committee. Nagaland, 100 healthcare workers vaccinated in three districts on February 2nd. Assam Rifles apprehended one NSCN K2 cadres and one OGW. Dimapur police arrest two persons wanted for murder or carjacking. State COVID-19 tally 12,117. Pakistan violates ceasefire along LOC in Jammu and Kashmir, Rajauri Indian Army soldier killed. Massive cut in petroleum subsidy to hit domestic LPG consumers. News in details. NSCN IM and NSCN KYA cadres surrender in Arunachal Pradesh. Five active cadres surrendered before a joint team of Assam Rifles and Longding Police at Longding in Arunachal Pradesh on January 27, 2021 informed PRO HQ IGAR North yesterday. The PRO in a press release stated that five active cadres were included which includes three cadres of NSCN KYA and two NSCN IM cadres surrendered before a joint team of six Assam Rifles, 40 Assam Rifles and Longding Police at Longding in Arunachal Pradesh on January 27, 2021. Chief Minister Nifirio takes charge as Chairman of Northeastern Regional Power Committee. Chief Minister of Nagaland, Nifirio took charge as Chairman, Northeastern Regional Power Committee, NERPC, yesterday, February 3, 2021. A press release informed that the formal handling and taking care of charge from the former Chairman, James Sangma, Power Minister, Government of Meghalaya, could only be done on February 3, 2021 due to COVID-19 pandemic though Rio had officially assumed the charge on March 16, 2020. Nagaland, 100 healthcare workers vaccinated in three districts on February 2. Amidst the pulse polio immunization drive, 100 healthcare workers were vaccinated on February 2, 2021 with COVID shield vaccine in three districts, Koima, Perrin and Mon. A total of 5,873 healthcare workers, including doctors, nurses, and support staff, were vaccinated across the country in Nagaland till date, informed Health and Family Welfare Department, Government of Nagaland. Dr. Ridu Thur, State Immunization Officer, Directorate of Health and Family Welfare, Government of Nagaland, informed that. The vaccination drive was conducted successfully in the three districts without any adverse events reported and 100 healthcare workers were vaccinated. Also, Dr. Thur said that till date 39,50,156 healthcare workers have been vaccinated across the country by COVID Shield and Covaxin vaccines. Assam Rifles apprehended one NSCN K2 cater and one OGW. Assam Rifles in a joint operation with state police apprehended one armed cadre of NSCN K2 and one OGW in general area Chang Chang Colony, Pongchao Circle on February 1, 2021. The PRO HQ IGAR North informed that troops of Assam Rifles along with police representatives launched an operation based on specific input and apprehended one armed cadre of NSCN K2 and one OGW. The apprehended individuals have been handed over to Pongchao Police Station, Arunachal Pradesh for further investigation. Dimapur Police arrest two persons wanted for murder or carjacking. Dimapur Police along with Assam Rifles apprehended two accused persons from Dimapur in connection with a case of murder or carjacking in Assam on February 1, 2021. A case was registered in Charitwar PS where the driver come owner named Purnanda Shaha was murdered and his vehicle was taken away on February 1, 2021. Dimapur police launched a joint operation with Assam Rifle on February 2, 2021 based on an information received from a source and apprehended two accused persons namely Bishwajit Mek and Saliatru Kempari from Dimapur while trying to dispose of the hijacked vehicle to Manipur state. State COVID-19 tally 12,117. Nagaland recorded 16 new COVID-19 positive cases on Wednesday, 15 in Kohima and 1 in Dimapur, taking the tally to 12,117. 
As on February 3, the state recorded 66 active cases while a total of 11,815 patients have so far recovered from the infection. Pakistan violates ceasefire along LOC in Jammu Kashmir Rajauri, Indian Army soldier killed. An army soldier was killed on Wednesday in Pakistani firing along the line of control in Jammu Kashmir Rajauri district, a defense spokesperson said. Sepoy Lakshman, a resident of Jodhpur in Rajasthan, was the fourth soldier killed this year in ceasefire violation by Pakistani troops along the LOC. The Pakistan Army resorted to unprovoked ceasefire violation on the LOC in Sundarbani sector of Rajauri. Our troops responded strongly to the enemy fire, the spokesperson said. Massive cut in petroleum subsidy to hit domestic LPG consumers. A massive cut in petroleum subsidy in the budget 2021-2022 is likely to hit about 20 crore consumers entitled to get cooking gas subsidy under the Direct Benefit Transfer DBT scheme. The government had started transferring a subsidy of, of Rs 563 per cylinder to beneficiary accounts directly in 2015. The price of the cooking gas cylinder was Rs 998 back then. The latest data of December 2020 shows the subsidy amount has been reduced to less than Rs 20. The price of a domestic LPG cylinder hovered around 700 in December last year. Under the DPT scheme, the government provides subsidy on 12 cylinders to a household in a year. India has about 28 crore LPG consumers. Out of these, about 1.5 crore are not entitled to the subsidy because their annual taxable income is above Rs 10 lakh. While consumers buy cooking gas at market rates, the subsidy amount is transferred directly into their account. That's all for now. To get this latest news, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you.